Syncing save data between different devices is a lifesaver in many cases, but you know what doesn't need to be synced? Graphical settings. Syncing graphical settings between different devices almost always makes no sense. And yes, by devices I definitely mean PCs. Unless you have multiple computers with the same exact configuration, it almost always makes no freaking sense whatsoever. Imagine this. You have a gaming PC and a weaker gaming laptop with a lower resolution. Let's say you're playing your AAA game at 4K on your main desktop at maximum graphical settings. You know, enough to, for you to get 60 FPS. Now imagine you wanted to play that game on a different device, like a laptop. And since your laptop's a 1080p laptop and also a weaker laptop, you can't really crank up the eye candy or increase the resolution. But things get really hairy when you swap between the two. You want to see what I mean? Let's say you set Scarlet Nexus to 1080p on your laptop, but then you go to your 4K gaming desktop, and it turns out your gaming desktop is running the same configuration, the same graphical settings as what it was on your laptop. You might think that this is no big deal, just change the graphical settings. Like, yeah, that's your opinion, man. You know what my opinion is? My opinion is this is stupid. This is a first world problem, first and foremost. Therein lies the problem. It gets really hairy when you have to switch between different devices. And guess what? Things just got a lot more complicated now that the Steam Deck is out, and also various handheld PC devices. You want to know what resolution those systems are running at? Typically 1280 by 800. It's not even the same aspect ratio as well. Even the beloved Steam Deck runs games at 1280 by 800, and you know what? That's a perfect resolution for that size. The problem is that maybe I just want to play on the Steam Deck and then maybe one day switch over to the desktop. I'm of the mindset that it should just be seamless. 800p on the Steam Deck, 4k on the desktop. I don't think that's too unreasonable, is it? So aside from Scarlet Nexus, there's three other games I can think of that does this. Elden Ring, The Witcher 3, and Disco Elysium. There's also a ton of other titles that exhibit this behavior, though I can't really find a definitive list on this topic, so I can't really tell you what these games are. All I can say is that they're out there, and if you play between your laptop, Steam Deck, PC, and they all have different resolutions, you're gonna have a really bad time. You want my personal opinion? Developers should stop including their graphical settings in their synced save data. Have it be tied to your particular system only. I should also mention that things get really messed up when you play at different aspect ratios. Like okay, the difference between 16x9 and 16x10, it's not that significant. But imagine this, ultra wide versus 16x9 or 16x10. You know how I know about this? Because I rock an ultra wide monitor, 3440x1440. And yes, I have this particular Samsung monitor here, the Samsung SE790C. And you know what, it's still a pretty good monitor, even if it is a couple of years old at this point. That's besides the point. The point I'm trying to make is that, yes, this is definitely something that you can live with. I mean, you can just change the settings every single time you play the game on a different device, but like, they should fix that for real though. 